at the moment, it's still for a large part uh, a question of political will, because uh, what well, a good thing is that by the uh, situation in Ukraine, which is of course very, very unfortunate, um, we're forced to think again about our uh, unhealthy energy dependency. But this is not a one-off um, problem. This is a structural crisis and it has happened before and will happen again. So what we need to do is to uh, speak, as Mr. Ristori said also, speak as Europe more with one voice and to really get our act together and um, implement also what we've decided because currently there are 24 member states um, not implementing the energy efficiency directive while it should be key especially in these circumstances to do this as soon as possible and that's also uh, one of my concerns that um, so much time and effort and attention is paid to gas talks and to gas supply. Um, of course, yes, that is also um, important. But I think we will survive this winter. It, people in Ukraine, that may be more difficult. Um, but it's certainly not, the, not so that um, energy uh, efficiency, uh, so the demand side, reducing, using less energy and producing more renewables ourselves. It's not a long-term measure, it's something we should start working on even more right now. While each time in all the documents I see, it's mostly mentioned as one of the medium to long-term measures. But no, it should be short term and I think we can do many, many things already. And I would certainly call our um, both European leaders and national leaders and all decision makers and all stakeholders to really start working on that so that uh, next winter, when we may have less uh, gas in our storages, we have really moved on and made lots of progress on producing more homegrown renewable energy and using less.